Here we have a Google spreadsheet. What we wish to do is to create a search form like this for this spreadsheet. You can have any columns in your spreadsheet. In, in our spreadsheet, we have a link column containing links to, in this case, Google Documents. We have an author column. We have a title column. We, and we have some keyword columns here. And we have some, some other columns as well. In the search form, these search fields are connected to the columns in the spreadsheet. So for instance, the title search field here is connected to the title column in a spreadsheet. If we search, for instance, for the word bank in the title field, we get a list of documents containing the word, word bank in the title field. We can also see that we now are at page number one out of seven, and we have a total of 62 hits. This was our query. We searched for the word bank. We can browse through this search result by clicking the next button here. Now we're at page number three. What we see here is a short presentation of this document, but we also have some more fields in our spreadsheet, the year project and series. If we want to see the document as a whole, we have to click this button here. Here we see all the fields. Here we have a link button. If we click this link button, then our Google document will open. In the author search field, we have so-called auto-suggest. So as we start typing here, we will get a list of authors from the author column. You select one and you search. The keywords search field is configured in such a way that it is connected to the columns D, E, and F. So as we start typing here, our keywords should come from any of these three fields. You select one, and you search. We can also see in our search result that these three columns have been merged together, separated by a semicolon. Since we have an account and since we are logged in, we can take a look at the back end of the system. Here we can configure and adapt our system. Under settings, we need to enter a spreadsheet ID. The spreadsheet ID can be found in the URL to our spreadsheet, this part here. Under templates, we have a short presentation template and a long presentation template. The short presentation template corresponds to this page here. So if we would insert something into this template, a text saying hello, and then we save, and then we refresh this page, and this becomes visible directly. If we look a little bit further down in our short presentation template, we can see that these letters here, C, B, D, etc., these are references to the columns in our spreadsheet. And if we look in the long presentation template, then this template corresponds to what we see when we click this button here, i.e. the full presentation. Under menu, we can configure our search page. So this page corresponds to this page and we can see that each search field has been given uh, a label and also a reference to a sheet column and here we can also add new pages like this we select the type of page a normal web page we type something then we save and then we can type something then this new page will become visible here if we refresh this page like this